Hi, this is Motomai. Join me as I review all my helmets and find out which one is my favorite at the end of this video. The first ever helmet that I owned was a black LS2 FF396 FT2. That was when I still had my scooter. I got it because it was cheap and back then I didn't want to pay so much for a helmet. Then I had it jazzed up by my two daughters to give it some character and that will always be on my head, literally. My brother convinced me to upgrade my helmet to an AGV. Uh, the price was more than what I'm willing to spend on a helmet, uh, but it was on sale. Plus, I really like the brushed metallic aluminum design, so I got it. This one is the AGV K3SV in Scudetto matte silver. It's a full-face helmet, the size I got was large and the shell is made out of high resistance thermoplastic resin. It has an internal drop down sun visor with pin lock anti fog technology, impressive um, aerodynamic performance, efficient ventilation with five large front vents, an expansive field of view. And the inner liner is a dry comfort uh, fabric with micrometric adjustment buckle and ECE safety standards. This particular helmet weighs 1.6 kilos. Then I also bought a half-face helmet, an LS2 Spitfire. It had a drop-down visor, and I coupled it with some classic goggles, which I can use when I just needed to go someplace near. And since my motorcycle is a classic one, I also bought a Biltwell Gringo S uh, to complement it. It's a medium size for this particular brand. It has no air vents whatsoever, but uh, I kind of like its uh, simplicity. It was cream with a clear um, locking lens, molded ABS outer shell, shock absorbing EPS inner shell, and a hand stitch removable comfort liner. It's DOT and ECE certified. Closure system is a double D buckle and it weighs 1.5 kilos. So it's um, lighter than the AGV. But recently, uh, just like what I did with my black LS2, uh, I had my daughters also design it as well. As you can see now, it's a full color design. They collaborated and designed it for me. You may check out the video here. I got this from Benta Bubot and of course uh, when you order from them it will take a while uh, for the orders to come in so while waiting for the helmet I bought myself this helmet it's a Scorpion XO covered helmet it's black and I like it because it's modular meaning I can opt to wear it like a like what you see now, it's a full face helmet. Then it can turn to a um, three quarter helmet and a half face helmet. And now you have a half face. The chin guard um, is magnetic, so you can just um, snap it back to place. It also has a a drop down sun visor. It is made out of um, advanced polycarbonate shell, which is engineered to minimize weight and disperse impact. It has two front vents, but doesn't have an exhaust vent at the back. Liner is easily removable and washable. It also has the double D chin strap system. It's DOT certified, 
and it weighs 1.58 kilos. What I like about it is uh, it looks badass. So this was the helmet used by the villains in the latest John Wick film. After that, I got another helmet. This time is from the French manufacturer Roof. This is the Roof Boxer V8 helmet. It caught my attention because of its aviator pilot profile. And it's really unique. It's made from fiberglass and it has a 180 degree rotating chin bar, which you can swing backwards. So you can switch from a full face to jet mode in one cool motion. It has three air intakes and one exhaust channel. You got removable inner liner, automatic chin strap lockers located on both sides, which lock and secure the rotating bar to the helmet. It has ECE certification and it weighs 1.65 kilos. I like the design, but when I use it on its jet mode, the balance of the helmet tends to be unstable because of the uneven weight distribution. So if you use it like that, as a full face helmet, um, it's nice and it locks like that. But I think my head shape is not really fit for this because sometimes my chin tends to uh, touch this chin bar. And uh, when I use it as a jet mode like this, it's, it's kind of weird um, balancing your head that way because the chin bar is really, really heavy. So that's for the roof helmet. But it didn't stop there. BikerBox released an ad for a backpack about two years ago. But instead of noticing the featured product, my eyes were drawn to the helmet that the model was wearing. And I said to myself, I gotta have that helmet. So this is the Icon Airflight Quicksilver. Like my AGV, it also has that metallic texture, which is hand sanded, which makes each helmet one of a kind. My size for this is large. It has injection molded polycarbonate shell, multiple oversized intakes, and exhaust ports, chin curtain, removable hydro dry moisture wicking liner. It also has a drop down internal sun visor. And the best part is it has a quick change, fog free, mean looking flight shields. This really uh, sold the helmet for me. I own four of these um, flight shields. I have this um, iridium blue. Of course, I also have the clear one. I have the smoke. And I also have the iridium red. In my opinion, my best looking videos and photos are those with me wearing the air flight. I also bought a GoPro mount that's made especially for the flight shield lens. So it clips on the slits on the chin part and the mount curves following its profile. It has DOT and ECE safety testing standards. It weighs 1.71 kilos. So I think it's the heaviest among the bunch. Of course, it will be the uh, built well Gringo S because um, it was designed by my daughters. Of course, it has um, sentimental value, but removing that from the equation, I have to say my most favorite um, helmet uh, would be the Icon Air Flight. I like the color, I like the fit, I like the big ass lens. As you can see how, how invested I am um, with this helmet, I bought several lenses uh, for it. Uh, I even branded it with Moto Mic stickers on both sides. I actually bought a Cardo Pack Talk Bold uh, with JBL speakers to replace the Sena 20S. 
because I like listening to Spotify when I ride and, and let's see if um, there's really a, a big difference. Also, this was the helmet that I was wearing when I got into an accident during the Boss Iron Man 2020 last year. So it really protected me. Well, it technically saved my life. I actually bought a new Icon Air Flight Rubatone matte black last month but um, I'm still thinking if I will sell that because it seems small for my head. They actually have the same size or maybe it's because it's brand new, uh, it still needs time to conform to my face. Hmm. So what do you guys think? Um, if you were to choose uh, from these helmets, uh, which one would you pick? Comment down below or if you have um, your own favorite helmet, uh, please write it down in the comment section. So there you have it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. By the way, we reach 1,000 subscribers, so woohoo! I know it's not that much, but it's still a milestone nonetheless. So thank you for your support. We'll continue creating interesting videos for you. So stay safe and always wear your protective gear when riding, not just helmets, but the whole nine yards, gloves, shoes, padded jackets, and pants. So this is Moto Mike. I'll see you in the next video.